love you, Stella. We're getting old, Rip. When are you going to pay us a visit in Toronto, Miss Hamlin? <laughs> Stella should be very pleased. <laughs> Just beautiful. Don't you think it's a little extreme, dear? <laughs> when I grow up, I'm going to be a flyer. I'm going to build the biggest building in the world. I'm going to build it so high it'll reach up past the sky. What are you going to do, Stella? Good morning, Stella. You're still pretty, Stella. to get some rest. Go on downstairs. Many of the others have made coffee and sandwiches. You can't do it all by yourself. What do you think friends are for? I think it's a little extreme, do you? No, I like it. I really do. Alice, you agree with me, don't you? It is extreme. Oh, I like it. Oh, you too. 
Don't you remember? We saw two almost exactly like it last year. Yes, dear, I know, but, well, maybe I'm old-fashioned. Oh, Mother, just because Grand Harbor's a small town, there's no reason for our women to go around looking like frumps. Ah! You're next, Stella. Morning, Stella. Morning, Isn't it a lovely day? Morning, Stella. Morning, Ben. Coffee later? Fine. We'll see you around 10. Don't take any wooden nickels. <laughs> I think you'll find, Miss Hamlin, that this new line makes the very best combination. Comfort plus very chic styling. Hmm. What do you think, Alice? You know me. A maternity dress is a maternity dress. That's not the point, Mrs. Rodney. Maybe not, but all I know is that when I'm pregnant, nothing in the world can make me look as if I'm not. Hmm. I don't know. I'd use a kind of flair. I was sure you'd think so. Just try half a dozen, see how they go. Half a dozen? Mm -hmm. And the usual winter order? The usual. When are you going to pay us a visit in Toronto, Miss Hamlin? Hmm, I may just turn up one day and surprise you. Hey, who wants the sandwich China right now? I do! Come on then, let's go! I'm scared! What are you scared of? That does it for this evening. Oh, as far as I'm concerned, that does it for everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, remember the first time I was supposed to do the solo in Rock of Asia? Yes. <laughs> and I opened my mouth and nothing came out, not a sound. <laughs> and old Mr. Ringley, he was choir master mm -hmm, then. Yeah. So I can still remember the way he took out his hearing aid and shook it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> to bowl again if you want to. Oh, I'd like to, but I'm going over to Millie's to play bridge. Oh, I forgot you told me you were coming over tonight. You got time for a cup of coffee? Sure. Should we go to my house? When I get mad, I'm going to have ten babies. I'm going to have three. All girls. I'm going to marry Mr. Beasley. He's nice. I'm going to live in a great big house. And I'm going to have three babies. And I'm going to dress them in pretty clothes. And I'm going to have lots of cars. I'm going to miss you, Matt. Well, I'm going to miss everybody here, too. But you know how it is. Grand Harbor's okay, but you know how it is. You had a good business here. 
Oh, sure, it was okay, but, you know, it was really Dad's business, and after he died. See you around 10. Don't take any wooden nickels. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Stella. Isn't it a lovely day? Just beautiful. No, don't. Please, Stella. Back. Yes, he will, dear. He's been run over by a car. Now, Stella. Maybe he got on the railroad truck and got hit by a train. Oh, Stella, Top has been away all night before. Not over two nights. Oh, he'll be back. See, Stella? Solid. Very solid little car. Dependable. Looks smart, too. Not flashy, of course, but last year for years, this one will. Now, this is the only model we've got in stock right now, the only color. Nice. Mm. Well, what do you say, Stella? Do you want to have this one in black, or...? Hey, how about gunmetal gray? That'd be a good color. You know, it's, it's kind of... Well, thanks, Ralph. I'll, I'll think it over for dinner, too, and let you know. Anytime. Hey, Stella! You forgot this. Oh! Well, the weatherman said there was a chance of rain. Dropped you off. I'm afraid I did too. Oh, we're a pair. What time is it? Quarter past eleven. Oh dear, we've missed the news. Here's bedtime. Yeah, I'll make us some hot milk. All right, dear. Thank you. Sinclair's selling off, going to Montreal. Uh-huh. I heard about it this morning, but I forgot to tell you. I don't know. What's going to happen to this town if all the young people leave? When I grow up, I'm going to build the biggest building in the world. I'm going to build it so high, it'll reach out past the sky. Beautiful, Diane. Bye-bye. Well, you're next, Stella. <laughs> you mean I'm next because I'm the last? Is that it, Ben? Oh, now you know that isn't what I meant at all. It's okay, Ben. <laughs> uh oh. Charlie's into the sauce again. Oh. Come on, Charlie. I'll put you over here. <laughs> She's going away. Sure, Charlie. The little bride's going away.
please sign the register? How's Stella taking it? You can never tell with Stella. You now she holds things in. See you around 10. Don't take any wooden nickels. Coffee tasted a little rancid this morning, dear. I bought it fresh yesterday, Mother. It had an odd taste. Well, I'm sure it was fresh. D did you get it from Mr. Serino? Of course. It certainly had a strange flavor. <coughs> tasted all right to me. I think he keeps his coffee a little too long. It comes in a tin, Mother. dinner we had at the church last night. One of the best we ever had. Mr. Beasy's looking awfully old, though, isn't he? You know, something still of this town hasn't changed a bit, not one little bit. I, I was saying to my wife when we came in this morning, you haven't changed either. You're still pretty, Stella. Don't cry. I can't help it. Listen. You know something? I'm not... Don't touch me. I'm not going to do anything. Stella? Don't touch me! <gasps> Mommy! Mommy! Oh, there, there, baby. It hurts. Oh, yes, I'm sure it does. Well, look, we'll go and put something on it, and you see you'll be as right as rain. Water's okay, Stella.
Power running okay? Better be. It'll last me another five years. Ah, uh, come on. The boss tells me to make a mint in that shop. The boss seems to know a whole lot for somebody who's only been in town for two years. How are the children? Oh, great. Jenny goes to school next week. Does she? Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're getting old, Rip. Yeah. planning to sell the shop? What? Well, I mean, seeing as how your mother's passed on and everything, I wondered if... Where on earth would I do that? <laughs> You're next, Stella. Good morning, Stella. Isn't it a lovely day? Listen, I've got my car outside. I'll drive you home. You got a drink? Not a drop. Now, come on. Stop. I came here to ask you something. Okay, Charlie, ask away, and then we'll go Why home. Why don't you get married? Well, that's easy. Nobody's ever asked me. Now, come on. Nobody? Smoking? I do now and then. We probably shouldn't be here. Why not? Somebody might see us. Remember when we were kids? The very first time we climbed up there. Stella, listen. What we were talking about the other night. Rip. I meant what I said. I know you did. But, Rip. I love you, Stella. I wish. Doesn't she look wonderful? So natural. Art's done a beautiful job, hasn't he? So natural. Stella should be very pleased. It looks like Mr. Beasley. It does not. Alice loves Mr. Beasley. Alice loves Mr. Beasley. You Alice cut that out. Mr. Beasley. Stop, stop. Fred, you leave her alone. See you around 10. Don't take any wooden nickels. <laughs> Rip, come back. Wait for me. I'm going 
going to live in a great big house, and I'm going to have three babies. I'm going to dress them in pretty clothes, and I'm going to have lots of cars. Yeah, well, I'm going to miss everybody here, too. But, yeah, you know how it is. Grant Harbor's okay, but you know how it is. Toronto, please. One way. Toronto? Yes, please. What time does the next train leave? Next train? Uh, when does it leave? You ought to know. Hasn't been a passenger train leave here in 20 years. Morning, Stella. Morning, Mrs. Vickers. Isn't it a lovely day? Just beautiful. Yes, it is. <laughs> 